Hey everyone, how's it going? Kim here, welcome back. Today we are going to do a 40 minute full body strength workout and we're doing AMRAP circuits. So as many rounds as possible. Each of our circuits today is gonna to be five minutes in length and you're gonna have four exercises that you're gonna complete anywhere between 10 to 20 reps. And you wanna go through those exercises as many times as you can within that five minutes. In between each of our circuits, we're gonna take a 45 second recovery so you have time to grab some water. We have three standing circuits and then we'll be on the floor for the last circuit and we have an ab finisher today which is going to be after our AMRAPs. You will need a set or more of dumbbells for this workout and a mat so go ahead get set up and when you're ready we'll get started. All right, we're gonna warm it up. We're gonna start with some forward folds. So you want your feet hip width apart. We're gonna inhale those arms up. You're gonna fold forward at your hips, slight bend in the knees, then just roll it up nice and slow. Shoulders back, inhale, reach. Get nice and tall and forward. Good, two more. Last one. Bring the shoulders back and down. We're gonna do an arm circle with the right. Good. Four, three, and one, take it to the other side. Last three, two, and one. Shake out the arms and we're just gonna reach to the sidewall, come up on our toes and pivot. Get nice and long through that body, really reach it. Stretch out through the upper back. Three, two, and one. Come into some butt kicks right here. So bring those heels up to meet your glutes. Good, you can add some arms. We got five, four, three, and one. Take the feet out nice and wide into a sumo stance. We're gonna take it down into a little sumo squat. Pulse for four, three, two, one, and lift. Take it down, two, four, and lift. Two more, just like that. Three, four, lift, last one. Good, we're gonna come on down and lift our heels one at a time, warming up those calves. Good, leave that chest up, shoulders are back. For four, three, two, one. Point the toes forward, come on down to one side, stretch out those inner thighs, bring it center, then over to the other side. Last three, two, and one. Step your feet together. Again, you want them right under your hips, and we're gonna take it into a squat and lift. Five more. Four, two, and one. Bring those arms down and we're gonna swing them up. Good. Stretching out that back. Really reach it for four, 
three, and one. Now just bring those arms down and tap your knees. Good. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna finish off with some heel digs. So you're gonna take it, your heel into the floor, hinge it, get that stretch into the back of the thigh, and up. We got four, three, and lift. Okay, we're ready to get started with our first AMRAP. So, first circuit, I'm gonna start with a split stance deadlift. So I want a single dumbbell for that. All right, and then I'm gonna go into some hanging cleans and some push press. So I am using two different weights because on my deadlift, I wanna go a little heavier. So I'm going to be starting with that weight in my hand. I'm gonna be up on the toe and I'm gonna come down for 10 on this side, 10 on the other. Then I'm gonna go into my weights, two weights. I'm gonna hang here clean it, and squat. Final exercise is a push press. All right, are you ready? Here we go, 10 here. One. Get to the other side when you're done your 10. Good, hinge here. Keep going if you're not done your 10. When you're done, you're gonna go into that hang position. So you're hinged here, slight bend in the knees. You're going to lift with a straight back, pull those weights up and squat for 10. Good, final exercise. It's gonna be some push presses. So, I want the weights at my shoulders. Push and press for 10. Good, you know the exercises. Go through them again as many times as you can.
Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord that I wake again. I wake again. I wake again. I pray the Lord that I wake again. Okay, take a rest, grab some water. Whew. How many times you get through? I only made one and a half. I am going a little heavier on my weight today, so I'm going a bit slower. Catch your breath, we're moving on. We've got some lateral lunges with some bicep curls. So I'm gonna really lighten up here. So we're gonna go into a lateral lunge curl. Second exercise, two rows. To press and then we're gonna do some windmills so I'll walk you through get those shoulders back we've got ten of everything in this one here we go down hammer curl Two rows, two press. So we're hinged here. One, two, lift. One, two. That's one count. We've got ten. All right, into some windmills. All right, one foot is on a diagonal. We're gonna have that weight up overhead and we're gonna turn and look up towards our hand and lift, that's one. Other side. Whew. Arm up. Take it down.
bag of cash, make a wish, I'll make plans. I'm a pig in a stew. I don't give if I'm rude. Let me live my life with bliss. Good, good. As far as you can. Next round, maybe you're already there. One. Another rest. All right, we're on AMRAP three. Whew. We're gonna start with a single dumbbell again and we're gonna do some snatches. So we're gonna have that dumbbell in between our feet. We're gonna lift into a snatch, 10 on each side. Then we're gonna have one arm up, opposite leg back. You're gonna go 10 lunges, repeat on the other side. Final exercise. We're gonna go two lat raises, Single, single. All right, so we're working hard today. We're not getting through a lot of rounds, or at least I'm not. That's okay. Here we go. Down, one. All right, into that lunge. Get that weight overhead, opposite leg back, lunge it down for 10. We gotta repeat that on the other side. Working the shoulders, two lateral raises, single, single front. Single, single, that's one. I'm halfway, five. Got one more after this. 
<sighs> Taking it from the top. Okay, we're hitting the floor. Final am wrap, and then we are going to do an ab finisher. So bring a set of weights down with you. We're gonna work our chest, and I'm gonna do this with tabletop legs. So I want my legs at tabletop. All right, I'm going to take my arms out to the side, and I'm gonna bring them into center, release. We've got 10 of those. Then we're gonna go keep those legs up 10. <sighs> Try press to skull crushers. <sighs> I'm running out of time. I'll show you as we go. All right, knees bent, arms out to the side, nice and slow. Press, now take it slow on the way down. Two. Three. Good, rotate those wrists in, elbows beside you. You're gonna press it up. Skull crusher, that's one count. Good, lower the feet. Take one weight into your chest. We're going to press into a glute bridge, press up, release for 10. Hold that bridge, take it into a pullover for 10. Yeah. 
Taking it from the top. Take a rest. You can move your weights aside. We are gonna move on to an ab finisher. Okay, ab finisher. We have 10 exercises. We're gonna work 30 seconds on, 10 second rest. No repeats through these 10, and then we're gonna stretch. Okay, so we're gonna start with a Russian twist. I like to do my Russian twist with my feet on the floor just to give my low back some protection. Some people like to come up off the floor. That's up to you, but make sure you don't have any strain in your low back. You really wanna focus on the core strength. So I'm gonna start with my heels in the floor. I come back about 45 degrees. We got 10 seconds. Big inhale. Good, I'm gonna take my hands together, elbows to the side, and I'm going to twist one side to the other. 30 seconds. Good, I'm gonna take it all the way down. We're gonna go into a crunch. So I have my feet on the floor. I'm gonna place my fingers by my ears, space between my chin and my chest, lift, release. Exhale up, inhale down. Good, extend your legs. <sighs> Place your arms overhead. We're gonna do an alternate V up. Here we go. Lift, opposite arm to opposite leg. Take a little 
the last 10 seconds. Whew, how are you doing? All right, we're gonna do some toe touches. So get those legs all the way up. We're gonna try to touch our toes with our hands. We lift. Good, place your feet down on the floor. Now we're gonna do a reverse and basic crunch, so suitcase crunch. You wanna bring everything in and release. Here we go, exhale, release. Okay, reverse crunch. <sighs> Hands on the floor, our upper body's gonna stay on that floor. We're gonna bring the legs up, release, tap the toes down. So it's just a slight lift with the hips. Good, and down. Keep that low back pressing into the floor. How are you doing? We're getting there. We've got some bicycles now. So we're gonna work the obliques. Come to tabletop. Opposite shoulder to opposite knee. One foot over the ankle, over the other knee. We're gonna come into a side crunch on one side, then we'll do the other. We have three exercises to go. Here we go, lift, release, exhale. Other side. Let's work. Final exercise, I'm gonna take it into a full extension plank. So you can do this on your knees, you can do this on your toes, hands under your shoulders, 30 seconds hold. Eight. Three. And drop to your knees. All right, it is time to stretch it out. We're gonna start by going into a child's pose. So I'm gonna take my hips back, bring my glutes to meet my heels, and just shift my weight from side to side, get comfortable in this. 
and then drop my head. Feel free to open your knees if that's more comfortable for you. Good. We're going to come back on to all fours and then just shift your weight over to one side. Drop those hips. Whew. And over to the other side. Good. I'm going to shift my weight all the way forward. Come down onto my tummy and then come onto my elbows and just look center. So I'm stretching out through my abs in a small little cobra right here. Good, if you want, you can come onto your hands and really give it a little extra stretch, pressing those hips down. And release, back to tabletop. Step one foot forward, we're gonna come into a low lunge and stretch out those hips. And then give it a little twist to the side. Good, from here I'm gonna lean back and straighten out that front leg, and then I'm just gonna hinge forward and stretch out the hamstring. Okay, job, let's go to the other side. I'm gonna step that leg back, take the other leg forward, Good. So I tried talking Olivia into coming down for a visit, but she wasn't having it. Good, let's do a little twist. And center, we're gonna straighten out that front leg. And then just bring your hands to the inside, step that leg back. We're gonna come down onto the floor, roll onto our back and get into our glutes. So I'm gonna cross one ankle over top of the other knee and place my hands underneath the opposite thigh, pulling my knees towards my chest, taking a nice deep breath in and exhale. Good, release it down. We're gonna to switch to the other side. You have dreamt of walking, slowly taking time. Figure in the knots out. And release those legs down. We're gonna extend the legs all the way out. Take our hands overhead and get nice and long right here. Deep breath in. And exhale, one more time, inhale. Good, bring your knees in to meet your chest. Give yourself a little hug right here. And place those feet on the floor. Roll it over onto one side and then slowly bring yourself up. And we're gonna sit cross-legged and just give a little stretch for our neck. So take a look over one shoulder, drop your chin, take your opposite hand to the floor. And let's go to the other side. Good, we're gonna finish off by taking our hands on the back of our head, chin to our chest, give it a little stretch into the back of the neck. Look center, exhale those arms down, nice deep breath up. Exhale down, one more time, big breath up. 
and exhale it down. Nice job, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's AMRAP workout. Let me know in the comments below how many rounds you got through. I know I didn't get through that many today. That's it for me today. You take care and I'll see you on the next one.